Using oxygen tanks. If you have a lung problem such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD or pulmonary fibrosis, you might have low oxygen levels. If so, you may need extra oxygen or oxygen therapy. Oxygen therapy is given using special equipment. This animation tells you about using an oxygen tank, also known as an oxygen cylinder. An oxygen tank is a metal cylinder filled with compressed oxygen. The air we breathe contains just 21% oxygen, along with other gases. An oxygen tank provides a flow of 100% oxygen. You breathe it in through a tube that connects from the tank to a device, an oxygen cannula, that you wear in your nose or to a mask over your nose and mouth. If a respiratory disease prevents you from getting enough oxygen in your blood, you can connect to or carry a tank for the extra oxygen you need. Oxygen tanks come in both large and small sizes. The large ones usually stay in one place, such as your home. The smaller ones are portable. You can roll them around with you or even carry them in a backpack. Small, portable tanks can weigh as little as 3 kilograms, or about 6.5 pounds. Larger tanks with compressed oxygen can weigh as little as 8 pounds, which can be pulled on a wheeled cart to as much as 140 pounds for a tank that stays in your home. You may use a stationary oxygen concentrator in your home to fill portable oxygen tanks if it includes a special home fill device. Oxygen tanks have two main parts the cylinder that contains oxygen, and the regulator, which is like a tap that controls the oxygen flow. Some tanks may have an additional part called a conserver. It allows you to receive oxygen only when you breathe in. This is called demand flow or pulse flow. It makes the oxygen in the tank last longer. The regulator will also have a gauge showing the amount of oxygen it holds and a meter showing how much oxygen is flowing. Before using your oxygen tank, it is a good idea to check that everything is working correctly and the tank is full. Wash your hands before working with your oxygen tank. Avoid alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Avoid anything that produces a spark or flame nearby. Also avoid using oil or petroleum-based products on your lips, nose, hands, or face. Attach the regulator to your oxygen tank. Make sure there is no leak between the regulator and valve post you attach it to. Use the regulator knob or dial to adjust the flow of oxygen from the tank. Your doctor will prescribe the amount. Please let them know if you don't think the prescribed amount is helping. To connect the tubing, place one end over the nozzle on your tank's regulator. Then, gently press up until the tube end is securely on the nozzle. The tubing must be connected securely enough to stay in place, even if you move around. You may want to ask a caregiver for help. You can also contact your oxygen supplier with questions. You may pull a portable oxygen tank on a small cart. Some are even small enough to carry with you in a backpack. Your oxygen supplier should be able to provide or recommend carrying equipment. In a car, secure the oxygen tank so it cannot move. You can stand it up and put a seatbelt around it or secure it on the floor of the car. Do not smoke or allow anyone else to smoke around oxygen in the car or anywhere else. Avoid leaving an oxygen tank in the trunk or leaving tanks in a hot car. At home, keep the oxygen tank you are using stable. Do not let it roll around or bump into things. Ask your oxygen supply technician to show you how to store your tanks. Keep tanks in a well-ventilated area. If they crack or the valve breaks off, they can be dangerous. When you are active, an oxygen tank allows you to continue using oxygen away from home or outdoors, outside the range of your concentrator. Talk with your doctor about whether an oxygen tank is right for you.